you mind if I ask you a question? If you are still smoking right now in 2017, why? Because you're addicted? Because it's a nasty habit and I need to stop, but yet you don't? Why? You know, humans have the most advanced brain on the planet, yet refuse to use it. You're knowingly giving yourself cancer. You are knowingly going to hurt your family and friends by dying earlier than you should. Yet, you won't stop. How are your kids going to feel when they're standing over your body in a hospital and the doctor tells you you have two months to live because you smoked? And your children are looking at you and asking you why. Why? Because you were too lazy? to stop you know there's tons of stuff that's addicting to humans but the problem the, the 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 solution is you have the mind power to overcome it but people are just too lazy to do it oh i smoke so i don't eat as much well eating's an addiction too that's just something you got to come over overcome also. It's not that hard if you put your mind to it. Sure, you're going to have a few weeks of struggle, pain, uncomfortableness. But that's what happens when you're, you're, you're taking an addiction out of your body. You just get through it. It's plain and simple as that. So, another question I'm going to ask you too. But let me give you little uh, scenario why I'm here. We're coming up on the anniversary of my mom's death. 2009, she died from lung cancer from smoking. Um, on April 2nd-ish, I think it was April 2nd, she was in her backyard and she fell over. Her whole right side of her body stopped working. Just out of the blue, boom. She was rushed to the hospital, not knowing that this was the last time she was ever going to be in her house, sitting at her kitchen table, watching TV, petting her dog. This was going to be the last time she'd done anything at the house because she was never to return. Um, she had both lungs filled up with tumors one lung was collapsed and the cancer had already metastasized to the brain so that's what caused the right side of her body to shut down so it's 2017 and you have people out there giving giving themselves cancer i don't understand that you're giving yourself cancer you know what you're doing? You're slapping people in the face who have cancer who did not give it to themselves. I had friends die, and I've got friends dying. I've got friends fighting for their life because of cancer that they did not give themselves while you are giving yourself cancer. You are smacking people in the face by doing this when i see a smoker oh it's rage why would you do this to your children your family and to people who have cancer who's not doing anything to give it to themselves knowingly why 
are you being stupid? Why are you being ignorant? Why are you being lazy? You had the most advanced brain on this planet. Fucking use it. Let me ask you that question now. Would you willingly, being that you are giving yourself cancer anyway, would you be willing to change the body parts you have left in you that are good to someone who has cancer in that body part, would you switch with them? You're giving yourself cancer anyway. Why not add more to it? It ain't going to do you any problem. I mean, it ain't going to cause you no more issues than you're already going to have. You're going to die anyway. So why not take their cancer from them since they didn't ask for it? They didn't give it to themselves. Would you do that? If the answer is no, then you're just one lazy, ignorant son of a bitch. That's what you are. Because your children, your family, your friends, the people who love you, are hurting and they don't even know it yet and they're going to be hurt once that doctor says you got cancer and you have x amount of time to live all because your selfishness your ignorance your laziness would not allow you to stop Screw your friends. Screw your family. Screw your kids. Who cares? It's about me. It's about killing myself early because I want to. Oh, what? Let me guess. You can't face that reality because it's not right there in front of you at the moment. Ignorance is what that is. I, I don't understand. It's 2017. All the info's out there. But yet you, you're not going to care what your kids think. You're not going to care how your kids feel. You're not going to care about anything other than yourself. Ignorance, stupidity, laziness, that's all it is. It's all it is. No excuses will ever, ever say anything other than that. That is the bottom line. No other way around it, no matter what you tell yourself. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. And then the people who smoke around their children. Ooh. I can give that child a much better home, much better future than you can. It's sickening. Sickening. Take a look. So, you know what? I ain't gonna say take a look in a mirror. You already know what you are. You're gonna be whatever you think you are. And never, ever accept the reality of what you truly are. And that's just ignorance, stupidity, and laziness. It's pathetic.